The Palestinians want a state without making compromising, making concessions, or making peace. Just imagine what this state would look like. We got a small preview when Israel disengaged from Gaza in 2005. Iran's proxy, Hamas, took over the Gaza Strip and created a terror stronghold. It has used this stronghold to fire tens of thousands of rockets into Israel. Given the chance, Hamas would gladly create a second terror state in Judea and Samaria. This terror state may be well stated and called ISIL. Why ISIL? Which stands for Iran, Syria, Iraq, and Lebanon. It would be sponsored by Iran and as volatile as Syria, Iraq, and Lebanon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make no mistake, Israel did everything in its power to reach meaningful solutions while the Palestinians continue to pursue empty resolutions. On three separate occasions, and let's not forget that, Israel offered the Palestinians, uh, the Palestinians a state under the Clinton parameters of 2000, under Ehud Olmert's offer in 2008, and John Kerry's efforts last year. On all three occasions, the Palestinians refused the deal and walked away from the table. Now they have a nice sentence in Arabic. El Afu al Ablar min al Akkawal, which means they say that actions speak louder than words. Last year, the Palestinian Authority committed every form of diplomatic treason. It abandoned the peace talks. It awarded honors to convicted terrorists and surprise, surprise, broke its word by signing dozens of international conventions. If it weren't enough to prove that the Palestinians are not interested in peace, President Abbas also, and let's not forget that, delivered a hateful speech here, here, against Israel in the General Assembly, called for violent days of rage, which led to dozens of terror attacks against Israelis, and accused Jews, and I want to quote, contaminating the Temple Mount. Told Palestinians to prevent Jews from visiting the Temple Mount using, and I quote, all means necessary. And then, in the 10th year of his five-year term, I'll repeat that again, Abu Mazen, in his 10th year of his five-year term, President Abbas goes and forms a unity government with Hamas an internationally recognized terrorist organization that commits war crimes. But you don't have to take my word for it. Earlier today, Amnesty International released a report clearly stating that Hamas committed war crimes in Gaza. The report says, and I quote, Palestinian armed groups, including the armed wing of Hamas, repeatedly launched unlawful attacks during the conflict, killing and injuring civilians. In launching these attacks, they displayed a flagrant disregard for international humanitarian law and the, for the consequences of their violations on civilians in both Israel and the Gaza Strip, end of quote. Despite all the evidence of the Palestinian treachery and transgressions, the United Nations continues to give the Palestinians a free pass in their quest to destroy any chance for peace. Why isn't the UN asking something of the Palestinians? It should be demanding that they stop the incitement, renounce terrorism, and most importantly, break their pact with Hamas and return to direct negotiations. The reason is clear. You don't have to be a political scientist to know, look at the Middle East and see a region in chaos. Yemen is crumbling under the Houthis as we speak. Iraq and Syria are collapsing under ISIS. The region is in turmoil, and the very last thing Israel can afford is another terror state in its backyard.